Okay, what is your name and what do you do at Baylor? My name is Anthony Clayton and I'm the communications group manager. Uh, we do all the network cabling for the hospital system. And how long have you worked with Baylor? Twelve years. And with being a Olympic contender, why did you volunteer uh, to be a part of this program? Actually, I was convinced with a colleague I work with. Uh, she's kind of convinced me uh, just because of the journey that I've gone through. She thought I'd be a good candidate for it. Okay. So what what is that journey? What have you done in the past, or where were you in the past, and where are you looking to go? What are your goals? Well, I think, like everybody, I was, I was a smoker, first of all. Uh, overweight, you know, just kind of... Uh, unhappy with myself, kind of, you know, hitting those late 30s and just kind of uh, needed ne needed to do something with my life. And so uh, I think the, the program kind of gave me a kickstart. Okay. So. Good, good. So you were unhealthy in the past, overweight, you said, mm -hmm. smoker. Um, where are you at in that process now? Are you maintaining? Are you still trying to make improvements? Oh, I'm constantly trying to make improvements. Once I kind of that way. Once I committed, it's, it's, it's all or nothing. So, okay. Yeah. Good, good. So what's your, uh, with the weight loss, how did the weight, you know, come off? What, what type of things did you change? Well, uh, I, uh, my eating habits, you know, just, I would say first I started exercising, just trying to run. You know, uh, I think the first time I ran, I couldn't even run a quarter mile without thinking my heart was going to explode. But, you know, I stuck with it and then with those miles and with those improvements, you naturally think, how can I do it better? You know? So then you start following your, your diet, and then you might try other sides of exercises and so on and so forth, and it just kind of snowballed on me uh, from one thing to another. Okay, okay. So it sounds like um, it sounds like the competition really was your motivator to, to improve on your own goals, run a little bit longer each time, run faster, bike faster, whatever. It was. Uh, I, th I think the one event that got me going was about three years ago. A buddy of mine convinced me to do a 5K. And uh, I, I went out and did the first turkey trot. Of course, he didn't show up that day, you know, but I, I did it. But I had such a great time running with everybody. You know, I realized that, you know, uh, I think you're, you're, you're concerned that people are watching you or how you're going to fail or you're going to, you know, look like an idiot. But, you know, with 20,000 people, there's. There's nobody watching. Yeah, you know, this is such a great event. It just encouraged me to do more and more of these events. Okay, good. What has been some of your biggest temptations or challenges to, you know, get off track? I think my biggest challenge I faced was last year, last August. Uh, I I just finished my first triathlon season, uh, and I got into a motorcycle wreck, and and uh, I broke my collarbone. We had to put a plate in it. Took three or four months to heal. And, you know, naturally sitting around the house, I was, uh, I really changed my life from running, biking, and swimming, and, uh, and just nothing, you know, kind of a state of, uh, a little bit of state of depression, and just, and to get motivated again. I think that was the hardest part. To get started the first time was pretty easy, because I wanted to do something with my life, but after that, and kind of falling back into that rut, and, and forcing yourself to get started again, and with an injury, just working through it. It was it's very difficult. It took me most of last year to get through that. So I think that was my biggest challenge overall. Okay. So you've had peaks and valleys with this journey. Oh yeah. In the future, you know, what are you going to do, if anything, what are you going to do to prevent another fall since you know, you know hey, it was so hard to get back on track, you know, the second time, you know, what are you going to do to is there anything you can do to prevent that from happening happening again? I don't know if I can prevent you know an accident, but I can prevent how I train. You know, as far as injuries, I think we all I think as you train, you, you get nagging injuries and so on and so forth. And, and the one thing I think I did gain out of last year is spending that time doing some research, doing some reading, kind of getting to know myself. How can I get back into it? Uh, the first time. I did everything at 100%, 100 miles an hour. I was going to accomplish this goal, whatever that goal was. Uh, last year, it kind of forced me to rethink and how can I do this in a, in a better manner that uh, helped me reach the same goals, but but you know, 
know, help me reach them in, uh, with this injury and, and, you know, how can I recover from it and can still continue to develop these goals and reach them. So setting realistic goals that are designed for yourself. Yes, so. and, yeah, and for my limitations or, or my abilities. You know. Okay. Is there anything you're working towards now, let's say at the end of the year, is there anything you are training for? You keep saying the word training. Is there anything? I'm currently training in April in a few weeks or months. I got uh, my first half Ironman. I'm going to do Galveston. But in August, I'm going to do my first full Ironman in uh, Louis Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. Nice, nice. What's your, um, what's your confidence level at now? that you'll be able to compete the way you want to compete in those two events in April and then September? I think uh, my confidence level is pretty high. I think that there's only there's one concern that I have is the swimming, and that's just because of my shoulder. I have, I'm still working on mobility and strength in my shoulder, and, but uh, I have all summer to get there, so I'm pretty confident I can, I can get to that point. But uh, as far as the running and the bike, I'm pretty confident that I'll, okay. I'll be successful. For what my goals are. I mean, for my first event, I don't have a whole lot of high expectations just to go and enjoy myself. Okay. When you were completely out of shape, did you ever think that this is something that you would accomplish ever in your life? Never. Uh, I never intended to, to do that. I mean, the most I ever thought I was going to do was a 5K, you yeah. know, the turkey trot. And I didn't even plan on that, you know. It just it came up, and I thought, why not, you know, and uh, I never would have thought. Now, when I was younger, I remember watching the Iron Man, you know, on TV. I think everybody sees it on, you know, NBC every Christmas, and and I remember seeing them, but in nowhere in my mind did I ever think that I would, you know, be training for something like that. Right, right. If there was anybody out there who is overweight, looking to lose some weight, they the thought of even walking quarter of a mile at a good pace scares them. Knowing that you were there at some point, what would you say to them? What piece of advice, how would you motivate them? Just get out there. You know, you're not the only one that's gonna be in the race. You're not the only one that's just starting. You're not the only one that's gonna look awkward or feel awkward or look out of place. I would say 98% of the people there feel awkward and out of place. And, and uh, you know, only 1% are the ones who are gonna wear spandex and look like a million dollars, but everybody else, you know, they, they're going through the same thing. They, they have to start somewhere. Okay. Is, is there anything else you'd like to capture on video or any, uh, any other goals you have at this point besides just staying on track and keep improving? The one thing I can say that it, I think it benefited me a lot too is uh, my oldest son, seeing me run and running 5Ks, you know, he's just turned 10 and he's already done three of these five Ks with me, and he, and he loves to run. And, uh, and and in turn, seeing how that's helped him, you know, he, he wants to run track when he gets into school, and he wants, you know, when Dad was overweight and sitting on the couch, it wasn't a, you know, he didn't have any inspiration or anybody to follow. So that aspect of my life has changed, and that's exciting, too, because it's not just me, it's, but it affects my family, too. Okay.